Welcome to Fun Uber Games. So it's uh, Stock Market Day. I actually wanted to post a video yesterday. I usually do it on Mondays, but I um, I ran out of time and had to go to work. But I bought Snapchat. Somebody recommended it. I looked into it. I thought it looked pretty good. So I bought Snapchat yesterday. I bought 100 shares. I paid $19 a share. So that's roughly $2,000. And look at that. It's all, It's up. Um, it's up 2.5% today. So I made almost 50 bucks, my total gain for that. And I'm down. Cause the, ever since I bought Apple and Spiders, the market went down the, the next several trading days. So those stocks are down. But we're really close to the 100000 I originally put in. We're only down $89. I still have 84000 in cash. And I'll be investing that over time for you guys. <clears throat> so I wanted to do. I, I didn't. I didn't think it was necessary to to show the to me buying Snapchat because if you want to see me buying a stock, watch my second video from last week where I buy Apple and I show you how I bought Apple stock. And um, but I, today I'm going to do an options trade. So I. I bought 100 shares of Snapchat. Snap is a ticker symbol. And you can buy options without owning the stock. I think it's pretty risky. I wouldn't recommend it unless you really know what you're doing. Um, I think it's safer when you own stock. And you have to own at least 100 shares because one options contract equals 100 shares. Let my dog out so it doesn't keep barking. Okay, so so that's a great thing about options. It, it, it gives you great leverage because one option is 100 shares. Instead of buying 100 shares, you could just buy one option, which is a lot cheaper, although there's a lot of risk involved. And let's... Uh, because, for instance, when you buy stock, there's no expiration date you don't have to sell it on a certain time or or there's as long as the company's still around the stock is still valuable where options there's an expiration date and you have to sell by the expiration date or exercise or the options um, expires worthless which i think at 90 something percent of options expire worthless so let's let's buy an option on snap and i wouldn't necessarily buy one option contract because of the commission involved i would probably buy like 10 or 15 but this is an educational video so i'm not doing it in, for practical purposes just showing you how an options trade works and i think it makes more sense when you actually do it than just talking so let's go into snap click on the ticker and we could we could also go to the symbol up here and type in snap it will bring us to this page as well so this is just the main page anybody can see who owns E-Trade. Just gives basic information. And there's he's a snapshot of the snap snapshot of the company and it gives you some uh, some higher level information which we went over before. I won't go over again, but there's a tab for options. And I think you everybody has this tab, but you can't trade options unless you get approved by E-Trade. And it's easy to get approved. So I don't know if you'll be able to actually trade options until you get approved. But being approved is pretty easy. Just all you have to do is say you have experience trading options and they'll approve you. And you could pick any expiration date for the option. Um, as you can see up here, April 21st, that's a really close expiration date. So it's the bid ask is real tight and real low over here. And I'll explain it real briefly. So let's get a further out expiration date to give us some breathing room. Let's see if we pick October. So we, so we got a little higher bid ask spreads. Um, and and you, you could get different strike prices. Strike prices means the price with the stock will be. So the Snapchat is trading at about $20.50. So let's get it a little further out of the money. When I say out of the money, I mean above the actual stock price. In the money is inside of the stock price. So you can actually buy options 
that trade in the money, but you see the bid ask is a lot higher, so you have to pay a higher premium. So let's get one at 22. Snapchat seems like it's going up. It already went up a lot today. I normally want to buy an option, but let's just do it anyway for the video. I hope I don't shoot myself in the foot. But so let's do a 23 option. Maybe we'll do a 23 call option. And I'll and I'll write in the comp in the description more information on what a call, what a put and some of the stuff is. But please talk about it in the comments and then we can have a dialogue. A call, if you buy a call, you're buying the right to buy stock at a certain price. If you sell a call, you're selling someone the right. So they may force you to sell to them. If you're buying a put, you're buying the right to sell stock. If you're selling a put, put, you're selling the right for someone to sell stock to you. Sounds confusing, I know. Let's t let's taste it. let's do the bait. Let's try to do just one of those. Let's just focus on the calls for now. So let's trade the twenty three. Okay, so the information is populated here, which is nice. So I could buy, let's just focus on opening because we're, we're going to, we're not closing out a trade. We're opening us, we're doing our first options trade. So we have to open. So we could buy to open or sell to open at, at this point. So I, I'm, I'm going to sell to open because I have 100 shares. I, I could buy to open too, but I'm, I'm just kind of. I think it's, I just want to show you an example, and I like owning the stock, and if you own the stock, there's, there's much less risk involved, because when I sell a call option, I'm selling somebody the right to buy it from me, so my, I can't lose more than I have. I can only lose what I have in stock, and I'll deal, if the if the price of the stock goes above the strike, which is 23, any time by October 20th, they can just buy it from me. So if the if the if the stock goes to 24, they may exercise and buy it from me for 23, because that's a strike. The stock could go up to a thousand; they could still buy it from me for 23. But if the stock Never hits 23, they'll never exercise and they'll never buy it from me. And what do I benefit from? I get the premium. And the premium is is paid to me. The buyer pays me the premium. And the premium is this bid ass spread. So I would always do a limit order for uh, an option because as you can see, it's it's a wide range. A dollar eighty bid and two fifteen ask. So people are asking for 215 and and others and the other side is a dollar eighty. So I usually like to go right in the middle of the bid ask. So two dollars. So as you can see, the the pre the commission is seven dollars seventy cents and the proceeds is almost two hundred dollars. So that I usually would buy several options because it's it's kind of a high commission for a slow amount of money, but I'm just showing you these this example. And I get paid the premium, no matter what. I get paid this $192 a premium, whether the stock goes down or up, anywhere. I get the premium automatically, but I still have to, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that premium and the benefit, the reason I get the premium automatically is because I'm giving someone the right to buy the stock off of me. So that could be a big benefit too. But if the stock never moves past 23, then I'm in good shape. I just collect the premium and I hold my stock. So let's just uh, let's let's put through this transaction. So I'm selling to open. I'm I'm because I own 100 shares. It, if I didn't own 100 shares, I could still sell to open, but my risk is 
is infinite. I could the stock could go to a thousand, it could go to a million. I mean, it won't, but it could go as high as it can go, and then I have to sell it to somebody. I can't, I can't not. But if I bought if if I bought the call option, I don't have to sell it. I have the option to buy it. So I don't, I don't have to buy it either. Even if it goes down, I'm not going to. So there's a lot of risk if you do it. What they call it, they call it naked, naked options when you don't actually own it or, um, or uncovered sometimes or naked. Those are terms. So let's place this order. The options order has been placed. So let's see if it went through. Doesn't look like it went through. Let's let's look at the um, transaction history. Orders. So look at that. It's already moved a lot to bid ask. Let me change it to a dollar ninety. Because it's already out of range. So I guess get a little less money, but it's not going to move at that price. See, it executed. So I sold it. So it's, it's actually negative. And the hope is I want this option to go to zero. And it will go to zero if by October 20th, the stock price is at 20, is 23 or lower. So, but it could also go up. If the price of stock goes up, and we'll look at this over time, because if the, if the price of stock goes up, the value of this option goes up and my negative becomes even more negative which is bad for me but i would never lose money because my i own snap so snap goes up in price and my option goes down down in price so i i would never actually lose money theoretically because i own the stock I would, ha I would just be forced to sell the stock to someone so um I think it'll be helpful when I do future videos so you can see how the movement of this option is. And options move much faster than stocks. So on the other side, if, if I bought this call option, I could have spent $190 and, and controlled 100 shares. See, it cost me $2,000 for, for 100 shares, right? With an option, I could have, for only $190, I could have had control of 100 shares, I wouldn't actually own it. But if the stock did go up in value, I can just ex exercise my option and own it. It's a lot to take in. But once you do it, it gets makes more sense. And I'll try to write in the description, some basic info on options. But please comment and let's talk about it. And uh, like subscribe, check out my other videos, you can win money there. Okay, talk to you soon.